Hello and welcome to the 2021 Evesham Angling Festival, sponsored by Otbox, Cadence and Manor Angling. Today, 80 anglers line the banks of the Warwickshire Raven at Evesham to compete for a prize fund of over £14,000. It's going to be an absolute belting match. Join us for the action. As expected, low, clear river conditions made for a very difficult match. Many anglers struggle for bites. Those who could catch use tactics like the waggler with maggots for small chublets and bleak, pole with pinkies over ground bait for gudgeon, roach and bleak, and the occasional fish on the hemp seed later in the day. One man who set the pace from around halfway through the match was Cadence Ace James Robbins, drawn on peg six, if it's a long pole with a long line, catching small chublets on maggots building a good weight of small fish which look to be leaving the rest of the field behind. One, nine, twelve. <laughs> you were bigger at 13. Two, one, twelve. Well done, Callie. Right, nine, twelve, twelve. Oh. Did stop, didn't it? Cheers. That's a Third place receiving £1,500 from peg 75. With an ounce to spur from fourth, with four pound eleven is the one and only Tom Scholar. Right. Well done, Tom. Well done. Right. Well done. Well done. From peg six, with a weight of nine, twelve, twelve, and I hope he's dressed a bit better tonight. James Robbins. Oh, he's been on with that today. Well done, mate. Thank you. Great performance that today. £2,000. Your winner today, first overall, getting a cheque for £3,000. Is it a postal order or a cheque? <laughs> Bitcoin. Three, Bitcoin, yeah. £3,000 from Peg 86 with £9.13. 
is Ian Jennings. Yeah. Well, Ian. well done. Fucking money to money. <laughs> Ian Jennings on peg 86 caught a barbell with little more than 10 minutes of the match remaining. The fish, which weighed 9.13, was enough to secure him the coveted Evesham Individual Championship title, building on last year when he was crowned Witchhaven champion. So, two wins in two years for Ian. Fastest loser by the slimmest of margins, just four drams on the day, was James Robbins, who was 9-12-12, was ever so close to sealing victory. In third place was the best-looking angler on the bank, Tom Scully, who did well to fend off hordes of female admirers and put together a net of small roach, perch and gudgeon. So yesterday morning I went to the draw, um, drew peg 86, which is old peg 87. Um, gone to peg quite happy. Um, saw Sean Ashby had drawn it a day before and struggled off it though. Um, started on my normal perch short line, bait dropper and maggots. Uh, I've not had a bite on that line, which sort of made me a bit worried about the day. Uh, I've gone on my 13 metre pole line, again, just bait dropper in maggots and put some hemp in. Um, again, no bites. Then went on to the maggot feeder. I had a three or four little perch to start, um, and then that's totally dried up. Um, I knew Mark Brush and Alex Kerr on the end peg was catching, so I just decided to set up a, a uh, barbel rod. Just try my luck again, really, after last year. And I knew they were in the area because Mark Downs had had one the day before and lost one. Um, and luckily, at 10 to 4, the rod tip went round and I was into one. Uh, put the net under it at 10 past 4. So, yeah, took the gamble and the gamble paid off. Well, I drew peg six up on the town, um, which is a really good, consistent peg over the years. Um, typically, it's a good area for chub. Um, we haven't been catching very many big chub there this year, but there's quite a lot of the small sort of puppy chub as we call them. Um, and my friend Tony Skinner, my teammate, he drew the peg the day before and he caught, I think he had five pound of small chub fishing a waggler. And um, when I got to my peg yesterday, there was quite a strong downstream wind, a little bit like today. And I decided I was going to fish as long as I could on the pole. So I fished 16 metres uh, with a very long line, six metres of line and a very light float. So I felt I could try and trick these fish that had obviously fed the day before and just try and milk the peg as much as I could. So my feeding, I was feeding very lightly. I started on bread at 13 metres and caught a few small fish, a few small roach, a few gudgeon, uh, whilst I was loose feeding just a few grains of hemp and a few casters on the 16 metre line. And I went on that and I'd started to catch some of those puppy chub fishing up in the water. It's not a deep peg, probably about six foot deep and I actually was catching them up about two foot off the bottom with a light style rig. A single caster was the best bait. And as the day went on, I had to fish deeper, obviously got harder. So I kept resting the peg as long as I could uh, by going back on the 13 metre line and catching a few fish on bread, just keeping the fish ticking over. And I basically caught all through the match. There was a hard period in the middle of the match where it was very bright and sunny. But um, I did actually have a little run of fish at the end uh, fishing slightly over depth and running right down to the bottom of a peg. So uh, I think it was the right decision and almost good enough to win, which would have been amazing. It's a fantastic competition. I've been fishing here in the qualifiers since about 1997. I've framed a few times, I've never won it, and that's the closest I've been, you know, less than an ounce. But uh, I mean, it's a brilliant competition and hats off to Ian. He caught a, a fantastic barbel, he got it out and uh, Ian's a great friend and I'm so pleased for him, so just almost did it. Well today I'm on peg 55 um, on the ferry water, um, quite a challenging area, it's the team match so that's going to be my men mentality to try and just catch what I can from the peg. I really think it's going to be very tough um, and I think it's going to be a fair section in that I am in a tough section throughout so a bonus fish here or there is going to make the difference and obviously just catching what you can. Um, absolute scratching job today and uh, hopefully we can do well uh, in the team. We've got two teams in so hopefully one of us could, could win the team event again. We'd love that. I've had a knockbox now for a little bit over three years. 
it's absolutely fantastic. Kind of transformed my fishing really. Um, so stable, robust. I love the draw system and the fact that I don't need a barrel or a platform. You know, I can use the wheel system. And for me as a river angler, I, I went for the thinner legs, the 25 mil legs, a um, bit more lightweight, um, and it just suits my style of fishing. But yeah, I've, I've had it for three years. I've fished a lot on it and battered it, and it's held up really well. So what a fantastic box. The third day of the Evesham Angling Festival is always the Evesham Team Championship. Today, 16 teams of five anglers line the banks of the Warwickshire Raven to compete for one of the most coveted titles in team fishing history. The legends are here, Drennan Barnsley, Daiwa Dorkin, Camas and Starlets, alongside a few newcomers eager to take that trophy for the first time. It's going to be an absolutely belting match. Join us for the action. Two days of intense match fishing pressure, everyone was expecting a tough match on the Warwickshire Raven for the Evesham Team Championship and they weren't disappointed. Bites were a premium and at halfway many competitors had less than a pound in the net. Still, as the day wore on a few fish started to feed. Seven, two, eight. Seven, two, three. Jesus. What was it? Seven. 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 Two, nine, four. Oh, 
Folks, another year of action at Evesham. Next year, the festival will be back and bigger and better than ever. We look forward to seeing you there.